football, isn't it, Alan? It is. And listen, as a player, when you're playing for your country, it's always a huge match. And uh, whether it's a friendly, whether it's a competitive one, for these players, this is a big, big day. Our main game today is Germany against Uruguay. It's an international fixture here, Alan. That'll bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem and uh, you just want to do yourself justice representing your country. In the Olympia Stadion here in Berlin, in the stadium, it looks very modern, but the surrounds show what a historic sporting venue it is. But you could imagine from the outside that the 1936 Olympics were about to take place. Yes, not much has changed from that point of view. Inside, it's state-of-the-art. Running track going round means that, uh, you know, the pitch isn't as close to the fans as you would ideally like. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. Here are the 11 names on the Uruguay team sheet. Fernando Muslera starts in goal. Diego Godin starts alongside Jose Maria Jimenez. In the heart of defence, in attack, Luis Suarez plays up front with Edinson Cavani. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Gundogan, Hummels, Marco Royce. giving the player the benefit of the doubt about that but he's given the free kick Cavani free kick only from the referee nothing more sinister than that Tony Cross. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. To take the lead. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Good one. Joshua Kimmich. Marco Royce, Hummels, Kroos, Gundogan, Müller, throw in here, Joshua Kimmich, Royce, moving the opposition around with their play, great reach and a great catch by the goalkeeper. Bring the ball well there. There's good progress with this attack. Vecino. Looking for Luis Suarez. Tony Cross. Sane. Sane with an opportunity to use his considerable speed. Blocked well by the defender. Oh, that's good defending. 
Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Uh, cut out by the defender. Joshua Kimmich. Muller. Now with Royce. Leroy Sane. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. And here they are on the attack. Joshua Kimmich. Royce. It's Ilkay Gundogan. It's close. Royce. Shots on here. Goalkeeper hangs on. Luis Suarez. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Trying to hit Cavani in the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Suarez. Suarez! Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Oh, the crowd were up on their feet there. That was a spectacular effort. Tony Kroos. Good to one. Kroos. A timely challenge. Muller. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Tony Kroos. Kroos. Good to up. Muller. And now he's looking for some support. Werner. Kroos! A real miscue here. Still too early in the overall contest to call this a disaster for Germany, but if it carries on into the second half like this, it could end up being that way. They'll need that uh, determination that they have uh, in abundance to come to the fore in the second period. Here's a chance to whip it in. Muller. It's a good cross. There it is, the equaliser. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, up he rose and got his head to it, and it is a fine goal, a typical goal from him. Yeah, his marker was just caught on his heels, stood there watching, but the scorer always alive in the box. So here we are at half-time, and it's 1-1. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Diego Godin. Marco Reus. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Well, that needed a more subtle touch. He's gone for power, and he's nowhere near. Well, I don't think he kept his head down, actually. Probably thought he'd scored before he'd even hit it. Luis Suarez. On the attack here. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Tony Kroos. And that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. Good to act. Werner. Werner. Put them in front. They've scored. They've gone into the lead. And undoubtedly deserved. They have been by far the superior side. And they really imposed their will on the opposition. Too good, really, for the defending. And the shot in the end, far too good for the goalkeeper. They've come out here to put on a show and we're enjoying it. Everybody except the opposition is enjoying this. It's not often when you are allowed to create this many chances, so why not? They'll keep on pushing, I'm sure.
Looking good for Germany. They now lead. Hector. Attacking well here. He's had a go, that's brave of him. And it was close enough to think for a moment that they might have gone two in front. Yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest, but uh, it was a decent effort, not far away from the target at all. Johnny Kroos. They're playing a lot through Tony Kroos. Makes the game look so simple. Royce. The referee's doing well, not blowing the whistle, and Germany going on. Tony Kroos. It's a pass, another pass. At the moment, just giving them possession and not much more than that. Tony Kroos. Werner. Werner! We've got a corner here, that could pose some problems. Well, the losing team have got to do something. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Diego Godin. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Thomas Müller. Marco Reus. Werner. Hector. Leroy Sane. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Luis Suarez. Well, they're in a good position here. Well, the flag's up. He's frustrated because he is caught offside. Maybe he made his run a bit too soon. Well, this is where managers really earn their money in a losing situation. They've got to make a substitution. Got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. Werner. Here's Sané. What we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that'll change down the years, uh, I'm not sure, but... Anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that uh, their organisation caught him off. Well, this attack could have been a menace to it. Very good piece of work by the goalkeeper to turn that away from danger. A much better second-half performance from Germany. It looks as though it's going to do the trick for them. Strong challenge. Oh, it could be dangerous. Messino. Latch out. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. The shot's on. He's way off target. the end of the game There's nothing like that feeling of victory it's less so of course in a friendly game but uh, it's still better than walking off beaten well winning is a nice habit to acquire and this team have uh, taken a step towards doing that Marco Royce and his role in the match summed up here for you by Alan Smith got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift excellent performance well, as for the star of the losing...